And I call on Nicola Sturgeon, First Minister. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I am going to be uh, brief, firstly, because I know everybody wants to go and have lunch. <laughs> Uh, but secondly, I'm not sure uh, that I can uh, go much further without uh, crying. Uh, so just to say from me uh, to colleagues across this chamber, thank you uh, for your generous comments. Uh, they mean a great deal to me um, and I deeply appreciate them. Uh, to Emma, uh, Emma, I remember that exchange uh, really well. And I cannot tell you how proud I am of you uh, that you now sit in this parliament making such a positive contribution and who knows may one day stand here at this place in our parliament thank you uh, for that contribution um, emma's is one of probably thousands of interactions i've had with girls and young women across these eight years of my time as first minister and if i have encouraged even just a few of them to believe more in themselves and to stand a bit taller, then I will be very happy uh, because that means a great deal to me. Uh, more generally, presiding officer, uh, to lead this country is the pinnacle of what this uh, shy, uh, introverted, uh, that's still the case, not just when I was a, a young girl, but what this shy, introverted, working class girl from Ayrshire could ever have dreamed uh, of. And this country is truly amazing. And the people who live in this country, uh, no matter where they came from, are also amazing. As I've traveled uh, overseas as First Minister, and that has been an enormous privilege, I have had the opportunity uh, to see uh, just how much Scotland punches above her weight. And I have seen directly the respect that we are held in by people right across the globe. Perhaps all we need to do now here at home is believe a bit more in ourselves. Now, even although I know uh, without a shadow of a doubt that the time is right for me to go, uh, I do feel emotional today. And perhaps the reason for that is that I know beyond doubt that even if I live to be 100 years old, there is no phase in my life that will be as special or as meaningful to me as these last eight years have been. Uh, you will, of course, see me very soon on a backbench near here. But in the meantime, presiding officer, for the final time from me as First Minister to the people of Scotland, uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart for the privilege of being your First Minister. Thank you.